I was about maybe halfway into my PhD at Caltech when I started to get very intrigued by molecular evolution and particularly intrigued by the possibility of going into a lab and figuring out whether these um, fascinating molecules called proteins, enzymes, could possibly have evolved. So I was scratching my head thinking about how you would go about testing this while I was also finishing up my, my PhD work, which didn't really touch on this at all. But I was preparing myself to do a postdoc where I would start working on proteins and enzymes in particular. And that ended up uh, leading me to, to Cambridge, which is really, um, you could call it the birthplace of molecular biology. It's where a lot of the major work in the, in the 1950s and 1960s was done that gave birth to the field that we call molecular biology. So I took a postdoc initially at uh, Cambridge University's Department of Chemistry. So I worked there on Lensfield Road for a number of years, really learning how to do the DNA work and the protein work that I, that I knew I would have to do in order to study protein evolution. I hadn't done that in my PhD. I'd only um, uh, touched on protein work. So I was learning a lot of laboratory techniques for the first time, but also trying to get my head around how would you go about measuring the information content? How would you go about measuring how uh, tightly constrained protein sequences are? Um, that ended up leading me to uh, a place that's a couple miles south of the Department of Chemistry in South Cambridge. It's called the Medical Research Council Center. There's a famous building there that's the LMB. It's since moved in 2013, I think. But I went down there and started to work uh, again on this problem of figuring out how you would manipulate genes in order for um, selection experiments to tell you what sort of amino acids work and what sort of amino, amino acid sequences work and what sort of sequences don't work. Trying to figure out how tightly constrained amino acid sequences are. So after working for several years at the Medical Research Council Center, um, I ended up moving to the Babraham Institute that's just outside of Cambridge, but working on the same thing, working on the question of how tightly constrained are the, um, the amino acid sequences that form functional enzymes. <laughs>